Hey, kid. It's Clemenza. Come on over and meet up with me at the Falconite Social Club. Pronto. Forgive me, please. The Don's still in bad shape. Why don't you go over to the hospital in Little Italy and keep an eye on things? You think there's gonna be trouble? The police got the building under wraps, but they're not our guys, and I don't trust them. <laughs> Look, you think you're an up-and-comer? You need to help out, okay? I ain't got nothing better for you. Hospital or nothing. Go help out at the hospital. After that, maybe we can do business. You look like you want to talk to me? I know a secret about those delivery trucks. Could earn you a lot of dough. Interested? I'm interested. What are you thinking? Them trucks ain't all legit. Some are smuggling goods for the mob. Stop them with a little firepower, then interrogate the driver. You'll find out where they're coming from. Those smugglers are always part of some racket. Find out where they're going, and talk to the boss. You might be able to take over the whole shebang. Never know. The Cuneos are honorable, but if you cross them once, they'll hunt you down. There are five families out there, kid. Each controlling their own neighborhood. First, there's the Titalias from Brooklyn. Bruno Tatali is next in line to be done, and is working with that Turk asshole Salazzo. Tatalias are tough, but nothing you can't handle. As for Brooklyn, the Heights is pretty rich, but watch out near the waterfront. If I had a dime for every cheap hotel, brothel, or sleazy clip joint, I'd be a very wealthy man. Look into the face of Estrachi and you'll see one thing, trouble. You don't want to run into them on a dark night in their New Jersey stronghold. At first, the place looks pretty quiet. All little shops, fancy parks. But watch out. Better bring a crew with you before paying the Strachis a visit. Hell's Kitchen is one of the city's toughest neighborhoods, controlled by the Cunios. They ain't rich. A few gambling clubs and brothels, plus some weapons. Hell's Kitchen is a sewer full of burned down tenements and empty warehouses. The rail yards are a rat's nest of scumbags and late night wheeling and dealing. Midtown is the heart of New York. You got all those famous landmarks that you've seen in pictures. Plus the biggest hotels, swankiest nightclubs, and the most valuable rackets in town. One family controls Midtown, the Barcinis. They're tough sons of bitches. Don Emilio Barcini is in charge rules with an iron fist. And finally there's us, the Corleones. Little Italy used to be our turf, but the rival families kept moving in and hitting our businesses. We gotta stop them, kid. Take the families out one by one. But when you look up at that big sign, Jenko Olive Oil, you know, on Mott Street, that's when you know you're home. The Barzinis, nah, they seem okay. Keep to themselves, pretty much. You can trust the Cuneo, but mess with their business, and you're a dead man. I hear the Barzinis are good allies, long as you don't cross them. Never trust the Stracci. They're like animals, believe me. The Titalias have gone soft. Just knock them over and poof, <laughs> they're gone. Salazzo might make another attempt on the Don's life. He needs protection.
just going to the hospital to see no, the pop. No, no. I want, I want to send some bodyguards with him, all right? Ah, uh, he'll be all right. Salota knows he's a civilian. All right. Be careful, huh? Yes, sir. Send somebody with him anyway. Hi. Hi. Guard duty, huh? Yeah. You? I'm here to see Marty. Listen, um, thanks. There's nothing I hate more than playing the damsel in distress, but I appreciate what you did. I guess I better go in. Uh, hey. Yeah? I was thinking, maybe we should, you know. No. No. We really shouldn't. But we will. Hey, no weapons inside. Hand him over. No problem. You know where Monk Malone is? You mean Marty Malone? He's upstairs, second floor. You get all this back when you leave. Hello. Uh, are you looking for Mr. Malone? He's in room seven. A lot of your friends were here earlier. The police made them leave. No one gets by us. Orders of Captain McCluskey himself. There's another gangster down the hall. Some small time hood. Your type. Guy down the hall? He's in here for a flesh wound. Like some little girl. Can't go in there, kid. Move along. I ain't got time for you. Scram. Don't try nothing stupid. Half of our division is holed up here. A few flowers should brighten the place up. Well, well. He's my kind of nurse. Huh. <laughs> so you decided to come look up my little brother after all? Wouldn't have missed it for the world. Thanks. He's starting to look like his old self again, right? What was that? I'm gonna make you cry for your Go check out what that noise was. Time to die, Don Corleone. Don Corleone! Come out! You can't hide forever! gonna do, punk? Do it! Ah! Get Frankie out of here! <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Michael Corleone. Men are coming here tonight to kill my father. I'm here to help. Clemenza sent me. What happened to the police? The guards? I don't know, but I have an idea. I'm gonna get the nurse to move my father to another room. Now you better get your girl out of here. There's a way out through the basement. Go find Tom Hagen. Tell him what's going on. They keep away from the front door. They may be out there already. Find a way to get Frankie out of here. All right, do it now. Jeez, he must have been looking for the Don. I hope he's okay. <laughs> Just wait till I get out of this hospital. Stop messing with me and protect the Don, all right? Just lie here, Pop. I'll take care of you now. I'm with you now. I'm with you. You know, there's a lot of foolishness about this Salazzo business. It's so unfortunate. It's not really unnecessary. I gave him my know with all my courtesy. I told him his girls uh, would not interfere with mine. And uh, he didn't take it right. I know that the Italian family is like a misfortune. Out on our heads. Well, that's life. Everybody's got their own tale of sorrow. Let's go! 
Downstairs? You lead. We need to get to the basement. Come on, let's go. There go more of them. You should wait here. I'll make sure the coast is clear. Okay, but be careful. Don't worry. They won't know what hit them. All right, jump him! <laughs> Look at- oh! Let's go! Ah! What do you want? I call that a punch? <laughs> What's next? Do it! Oh! <laughs> Don't let him get away. <laughs> Bastard! Nobody punches me like that! No one's gonna recognize it when we're through with you. I'll go get Tom. See if you can help Michael. Frankie, are you gonna be okay? Yes, I'll be fine. Go on. The Dawn needs you. Thanks for saving me. I'll go get Tom. Follow me. We've got to cover the front entrance. Don't move. Not a fucking muscle. I thought I got all you guinea hoods locked up. What the hell are you doing here? What's the Turk paying you to set up my father, Captain? Take a hold of him. Stand him up. Stand him up straight. Oh. Told you not to get involved, didn't I? I'm attorney for the Corleone family. These men are private detectives hired to protect Vito Corleone. If you interfere, you'll have to appear before a judge in the morning to show cause. That fucking Turk. Can you believe the balls on that guy? Yeah, that's two attempts on Don Corleone's life. Thank God we had some people here to help out. Who knows what could have happened if he was alone? Well, with Monk still laid out These and Paulie always gone, me. the Don's gonna need all the help he can get. Ain't you the guy that helped Michael in the hospital? It was Salazzo, no doubt about it. Bevy paid the Talia's men to come after the Don. Hey, Clements is looking for you. Over at the shop on Mulberry. Late. 
park Seems dark Silvery moon is shining through the trees Cast to me you Sound of kisses floating on the breeze Act one 